Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave Dees here. Today we're going to be learning our first lesson, and that is how to draw lines. I know it sounds incredibly simple, and you might think that I am insulting your intelligence or your artistic skill by the fact that I'm teaching you something so simple, but we got to start off with the basic building blocks, and that's where we're starting today. There's different types, there's different lightnesses and darknesses that you can create in different ways. I'm going to teach you about things, and we can make things out of different kinds of lines. So just check it out, enjoy the video. That's all I got. Hey everybody, Dave Dees here. I'm going to take you through the first lesson of this masterclass that I'm making for free on how to draw. It's going to take you through from the absolute basics all the way to the mastery, but this is the very beginning. This is as basic as it gets. I'm going to grab my pencil. I like to use a mechanical pencil because it's easier to keep them sharp. I have my little sharpener here, my eraser. I'll link all that stuff below for you to enjoy. Um, but what we're going to talk about is lines. They are the, other than dots, which I am not making a video about, my old art professor would get mad at me about that, but I'm not going to. Uh, lines are the most basic element of art that we're going to learn about, and we're going to learn how to use it in drawing, because that's the skill that we're trying to develop. I'm going to start off by showing you the most basic thing, which is called varying your pressure, and that is that if I press very lightly and... Draw some lines like that, and then I press a lot harder. I think it's pretty clear to see the difference there between those two. The next thing that I'm going to teach you about is the different types of lines. You probably know them. You know a bunch of different names for them. If you think of some that I don't use over the course of this, of course there can be more examples. Basically, there are curvy lines. There's zigzag lines. There could be sort of like squared off lines. Right now I think I'm kind of cheating and I'm thinking of the scissors. You know the ones that I'm talking about? They can't really cut through anything, but when they, on the rare occasion that they do cut through something, like tissue paper or whatever, they make it look like it has that cool pattern in it. And there also can be looping lines. Uh, let me see. What else? How about a straight line? Yeah. That's pretty much the basics. These come together. They can make anything that you want them to. Like, actually anything. I could draw a human face if I just kind of used the right curves. I'd have to change my curve a little bit on the side of the nose here, on the cheek there, that sort of thing. There'd probably be some, some corners like that in the hair, maybe something like this on a, on a glasses or something that was manufactured. And then these sorts of things. Let me see. Where could I put that? Maybe in the person's beard or something like that. And uh, the mouth, that would be their face, because it would be looking kind of... Because that's, that's how the hipsters make their art nowadays. You leave the viewer confused about emotions. You don't have to do that. You can do old school. Let me see. The next thing that we can do is something that they do in tattoo all the time. I'm going to use this line down here to show you. They can do... They do in graffiti. Back when I was learning how to do art, that was how I first learned art, was from graffiti. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a second line that comes off of this a little bit. Uh, it gets thicker and thinner, closer to the other line. The reason I'm saying thicker and thinner at first rather than closer and further is because I'm going to close this off on the ends. And then if I shade it in. And you can see that it can be sort of like the type of line that you might find in graffiti or a tattoo where... That's called sculpting a line or changing the line weight. You can mess with that anywhere. You could make a dotted line, add in some more sections. I used to do this all the time in graffiti. It's a nice little hack to put this like under some word that I had written. Uh, not that I ever did it anywhere that I wasn't allowed to. I would never, I would never do that. But I got invited to do it some places. And I practice in my notebook, my sketchbook all the time because I wanted my friends to ask me about it and I thought it would make me cool. It does make you cool to know how to draw. It does. It is not as cool as me, but, you know, closer than now. So I added my dots in there. The next thing that I have to do is I think I'm going to show you an example of how I could, for a real simple thing, I'm going to draw a curved line. And another curved line connecting to it. 
And the same thing over here. And the same thing over here. And anyway, you're thinking, I know what he's going to draw. He's going to draw a happy face. Well, this is our first lesson here. And if you're trying to live in your little dream world of happy drawings and that sort of thing, came to the wrong place. I'm trying to tell you about, this is what's going on. This is 2020 man right here. And he has got a straight line. He's got these corners like in that squared off line, otherwise known as 90 degree angles. And his teeth go like this. Yeah. Boom. Now we got some edgy art. All right, what I want you to do for your assignment for this, I want you to actually take this entire page that you have going on here, because this is your sketchbook. You should be building a sketchbook with me. I would love it if you had this forever, and a sketchbook is a really easy way to keep it. I still have a bunch of my old sketchbooks. One of these days I'll make a video so that we can go through some of my old horrible drawings. It'll be painful and embarrassing for me, um, but, you know, that's probably what's happening for you alone at your house while you're going through the steps with me, so it's only fair that I empathize and we share that experience. Don't you think? If we're coming together for this, it's not the easiest thing, but it's an old thing. People really like knowing art, and you're about to learn it from the greatest teacher ever in the history of mankind, or into the future, also into the future, not just from the history, but also the rest of teachers. The greatest, you just happen to be here at the same time as the true king, ultimate number one. That's me showing you how to draw. We're going to do it. So your assignment is fill the whole page up with different lines of different line weights, varying pressures, different types of lines, and make it look cool. So that's what I'm going to do right now with mine. You might notice one of the ways that I'm trying to make mine look nice is by keeping the pattern kind of evenly spaced out. That's a good trick to make your patterns or your lines. You'll notice this is evenly spaced from here, spaced from here, this, 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 that. Keeping that even the in is just going to make your art look, look better, especially at the beginning when you're doing simple things like this. It's a good skill to learn. Later on, when we want to tilt things and make them so they look like they really look, we'll learn about that. But for now, it's a good trick to learn. Right, boom shakalaka, first lesson down. Now you know about different kinds of lines, you know about different weights of lines, you know how you can mix lines together to make things. Later on I'll show you how you can even use those same simple lines. This technique that you're practicing by doing page, do 10 pages, do 50 pages, practice. Practice is how you get better at anything, including drawing. It's not a magical skill, you just practice the things that I tell you to do and you will get better. So, you know about the different types of lines, the different line weights, you know about uh, how to mix them together and make things, and you fill the whole page in your sketchbook, at least one, not 50. Get to work. All right, thank you for coming to this first lesson. Uh, you know, what else can I say? Come back for the rest of them. They're going to be good. Thank you for coming. Make sure you smash the like, comment what you want to see below, and I'm going to keep the videos coming because I finally started making them again. You're welcome, world, for me making more videos now and being better at it than I used to be. All right, goodbye. and. Um, don't forget to subscribe. All right, everybody, I hope you really enjoyed the video on how to draw lines. Now what you're going to do is you're going to draw five pages of lines. You're going to fill up five entire pages in your sketchbook. I know it sounds like a lot, but if you work through all this stuff and you do all the extra assignments that I give you, I promise you are going to be just absolutely hype about the, the level of knowledge that you have and the level of skill that you have at the end of this. So stick with it and get it done. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last thing that I wanted to say. This is going to be at the end of every video, I do believe. When you are done with your homework, take it on over to the Discord and turn it into the art submissions. We want to see what you're working on. I will pop in from time to time, usually around 4 o'clock in the morning. Don't get weirded out by that. And I will give you feedback on the work that you have done. So make sure that you check the link below so that you can get to our Discord and you can join these submissions and start putting your art 
out there for people to see, give you feedback, help you get better at. I got a bunch of artists that have already gone through my class that hang out in there, and if you think you're going to do something funky, you're not, because my mods are going to get you. You understand what I'm saying? I might be a boomer, but my mods are powerful zoomers. I'm not challenging you, though. Please don't mess with my... Please, just be nice. Just do the artwork. <laughs>